Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Making Memories with Michelle.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about embossing folders. You know that's my product of the week this week and I mentioned I was going to show you how I stored them. So I found this box. It measures about six and a half um, inches wide which is great because our six inch um, dynamic impressions embossing folders fit just perfectly. Um, and even though it's woven, it is plenty strong because it has these, um, it's wire framed. The bottom isn't, but you know, there's, there's really no give. I've used these now for four years. Um, and my impressions folders just stack right up. Um, and I can leaf through them easily and see what I have and what, um, what I don't. And the other thing I was going to show you, remember I said something about what not to do? I was going to show you what not to do. So here's an example of what not to do. Um, this happened in a class and you, I don't know if you can see, but my, my folder is bent and it's, it's really jagged on this edge and it is pretty creased and worn. So what happened was, this isn't even one of the dynamic textured impressions. This is just a regular textured impression embossing folder, the softly falling. And I'm gonna grab my big shot. I'm gonna show you. Move this box out of the way. These six inch um, folders, you know, it's, it's a tight fit, okay? Um, they're meant to go through exactly lined up because the Big Shot itself is about six and a quarter, maybe six and an eighth. So, you know, if it's jammed, you know, if you've got it in here, right, you build your sandwich. Whoa, I'm missing a cutting plate. Okay, so if you've got your, your sandwich, you don't need your adapter. I was cutting earlier. So your Big Shot platform and one cutting plate and your um, ah, folder, sorry, and you run it through, it should roll easily. If at some point you find it's getting hard to crank, stop, don't go any farther. The reason is, it means that this is slightly skewed and it doesn't take very much with these six inches. Okay, so you've got a, a a folder now that is kind of it's sharp um, and it's bent it still works but aesthetically it's not pleasing so you know our impressions folders our our embossing folders are not just for paper we can emboss other things um, I have here one of these um, acetate card boxes and my favorite embossing folder out of the new holiday catalog. Um, this is the Swirls and Curls folder. I used it Monday on my blog. Love it. I really love the texture. And we can make beautiful gift boxes. Um, you know, if you're going to give some cards to... Uh, they make great teacher gifts or good hostess gifts. If you're, you know, going somewhere for Thanksgiving or, or for the holidays, uh, a box of thank you cards, it's perfect. So what better way to package it than with our little uh, acetate card boxes? And I'm going to show you how to just zhuzh this up a little bit. All right. Um, on our folders, if you see Stampin' Up! and Sizzix on the top that means that's the top folder and what you're going to do is you're going to open up your acetate box and you're going to slide this in and make a little card box sandwich okay so your stampin up logo should be on the very top on the outside so you know you've got this with um slid right in between and you're going to fold it flat right so it goes through the, the machine and you have your platform and your cutting plate and then I have another cutting plate and I'm just going to run it through now it's going to be tight okay but it's really going to work Then 
take this out and look at that. Can you see it? Let me fold it open and I'll put some cards in there. Um, I have my cards sitting here from my Facebook Live that I did with my club last night. You know, I do a, a monthly club, and right now I have two going on. I have Christmas and my regular club. And we meet, um, if you can't meet in person and you want to do it in Facebook Live, then I have um, a monthly Facebook Live, and you can craft along with me. So last night was my monthly card club, and we did um, Sincerely Santa. So this holds, right? I've got six cards in here before, but I have four in here now. Ah. Okay, and if you wanted to, let's make a pretty little present out of that. So I have some of this, um, what do they call this? It's Poppy Parade Textured Weave Ribbon. And let's make it look like a present. I love wrapping presents. I really do. It's something that I have done since I was a little girl. And nothing makes me happier than knowing I've wrapped a beautiful gift for somebody. You know? Um, some people just are not fans of wrapping presents, and I love it. Okay, so I'm going to tie a knot. Okay, and I'm going to leave that there. And then earlier, I used the Tags and Tidings um, gift set. And I'm going to use, I ran this through the Big Shot. I already cut them out. Look at this. There is a die that cuts out all of these at one time. It's one stamp. These are cool. One stamp, ink it up, put it on one piece of paper, run it through the Big Shot one time, and it's like a little miracle. It's very cool. And this is Poppy Parade. I wanted it to match my ribbon. So I'm going to pick this one with the no peeking because it's pretty fun and festive. Then I have some 1 8 inch uh, Whisper White Sheer Ribbon. I'm going to thread that. Oh, and it punches the holes out too, guys. Okay, so it punches the tags and the holes at the same time. It just doesn't get any better than that. Really phenomenal. Okay, I'm going to tie this on here with a knot because I don't want it going anywhere. Okay, and you can um, trim the ends. I have my ribbon scissors here if you don't want that to show. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to tie a bow in this direction because I have found that when I tie my bows upside down, then my ties go in the right place. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust that a little bit, play with it. And maybe the ties aren't going to go in the right place tonight. Give that a little trim. And we have some instant packaging using our Big Shot and our Dynamic Impressions. Nope, that's not a Dynamic. That's just a Textured Impressions embossing folder, the curls and swirls, and our acetate card boxes. What person wouldn't love a homemade gift from you? All right. Thanks for watching. This is Michelle with Making Memories with Michelle.com. Be sure to leave me a comment on my blog, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.